Hi, this is Sean Palmer with the Palmer Law Firm. Many Americans are eagerly anticipating the federal relief check that was promised as part of the $2 trillion economic stimulus package passed on March 27th. The legislation, which is the largest aid package in the United States history, will provide financial assistance in the form of direct payments to most Americans in the amount of $1,200 for single individuals and $2,400 to married couples earning up to $150,000, with an additional $500 granted per child. But if your marriage is in the process of being dissolved in one of the estimated 806,000 divorce cases that are currently going on in the United States, then the question arises, who gets the check? To answer that question, you first have to look at your most recent tax filing. The stimulus checks, which are scheduled to go out within three weeks, will be distributed based on your 2019 tax return, if you filed already. If not, your payments will be distributed based on your 2018 tax return. For various reasons, many divorcing couples have not yet filed their returns for 2019, so the IRS will be looking at the return from 2018 for this information. This is very significant for divorcing couples because it is likely that their situations have dramatically changed since the 2018 return was filed. Not only will the previously filed tax return be used to calculate the amount of the stimulus checks, but it's also going to determine where the checks are deposited or mailed. In past stimulus payments in 2001 and 2008, the money was delivered both through direct and through uh, physical checks in the mail. The problem for divorcing individuals is that those who have control of the bank account and who is living at the last known address will likely have changed since the last filing. If they, uh, if they are involved in a high conflict case, the spouse who does not have control of the account or the resident runs the risk that the other spouse will take the check and spend it for themselves before there can be an accounting for it. A proposed solution may be to immediately file or amend your 2019 tax returns to married filing separately so that you receive a separate check from the IRS. However, I don't think that that's a reasonable option at this point um, because although the IRS extended the federal deadline for tax returns from April 15th to July 15th, it's uncertain that your filing will be processed by the time the checks uh, are distributed. In addition, filing separately usually results in high overall taxes, which may offset a large portion of the benefit of the payment in the first place. Another point of dispute may also arise about who gets the $500 child portion of the check. Although there's no official guidance on this, the most likely answer is that it will be the person who claimed the child on the last tax return. The ultimate answer of who gets part or all of the stimulus check is in, in a divorce is that the check will be characterized the same as any property um, that is a, a marital asset. In the state of Texas, the stimulus payment will be considered community property and therefore subject to division by the court. If you are in the middle of a divorce case and you want to get on top of this issue, an attorney can help you draft a temporary order that will prevent the stimulus payment from becoming yet another problem to deal with in your divorce. Or if your spouse succeeds in temporarily swiping the benefit and taking the check for themselves, then an attorney can help you balance the equities on final orders by convincing a judge or jury to award you a larger share of other available property if, if possible. The amounts of the stimulus check may not be worth fighting over in court. The best solution is to try to come to an agreement, either to fairly divide the check now or to hold on to it pending the final division of the whole marital estate. But there is talk of future stimulus checks of even larger amounts being distributed in the future based on how long the coronavirus pandemic keeps hurting the economy. A well-crafted temporary order can help prevent future check distributions when the financial consequences of who gets the stimulus check are higher than they are now. If you have any questions about this topic or any other issues regarding your Houston or Galveston area divorce, then please contact us. For a limited time, we're offering free uh, virtual consultations to anyone going through a divorce or custody issue. Visit us at www.thepalmerlawfirm.com to schedule. Thank you for watching. I'm Sean Palmer with The Palmer Law Firm. Be safe, be kind to each other, and remember that we may be apart, but we'll all get through this together.